The COX-1 gene. It codes for the protein cytochrome C oxidase, which is found in the mitochondrion. In humans, the same gene is referred to as MTCO1. Today, we will be using a database to determine the differences in the base sequences of genes in not just two species, but in four organisms. And then we will go on to use this data to understand how cladograms can be constructed using these base sequences. We will place these four species at appropriate positions in this simple cladogram. The basis of our classification will be base sequences of the COX1 gene. The data that we collect when we compare the various organisms as pairs would be placed into a table like this. And then using this data, we will return to complete our cladogram. How to compare the base sequences of a specific gene, the COX-1 gene, for a human, Homo sapiens, with a chimpanzee, Pan troglodytes. First we go to the NCBI website here at this URL and then we click on this tab and then we select gene. Then you type in the gene of interest, COX-1. You click search. This happens. You get 1 of 20 of 12,277 results. That's a lot of results. So therefore you need to search specifically for what you want. And you already have COX-1 coming up there in details. So let's write COX-1 and PAN for pantroglodytes. And we search for that and this happens. Pantroglodytes, the first result here, and we click on COX-1. When you click on COX-1, then this page comes up with a lot of information on it. We are going to simplify the process for ourselves and go straight here to FAST ALL, or FAST A as it's called here. Click on that, and we are going to get this base sequence for the particular gene, which is the COX-1 gene. We are going to copy this entire sequence. It's important that you highlight the whole thing here. Click Copy. And then we're going to paste this into another place. We are going to search for NCBI BLAST. BLAST stands for Basic Local Alignment Search Tool. So clicking on BLAST, we are dealing with nucleotides. Those letters, they stand for nucleotides. So we are going to click on Nucleotide BLAST. We are going to compare two sequences, a human with a chimp. So we are going to click on this box to align two or more sequences. And then we are going to paste in here the sequence for the chimpanzee. Uh, let's give it a job title. Chimp versus human. And then over here, we have to get the data for Homo sapiens. So we need to return then here and go back. At this point, we can say COX1 and Homo. And now we need to be careful. We are seeing Homo sapiens neanderthalensis, which is a Neanderthal. And that's COX-1. Remember I said earlier, though, that in human beings, Homo sapiens, COX-1 is referred to as the MT-CO1. And it's the same as COX-1. So when we see that down here, we actually see Homo sapiens going along with it. So we can click on this. Clicking on that. And then going down and clicking on Fast All here we get the nucleotide sequence. Copy the entire thing. You go back here, paste it. Now that we've got 
chimps sequence and the humans sequence together. We've got this job title in place. Let's do the alignment and let's click on this to get the results in a new window. The results could be very complicated but we are going to take things at a very simple level for our purpose and we just want to look at the percentage of identical bases in the sequence and it's 91.32%. So what we need to do now is to return to our table and where the box for the chimpanzee and the human lineup we're going to write 91.32%. And then we're going to do all of the other combinations for all of the other primates. And then we'll see what our cladogram would look like. A cladogram based on molecular cladistics, specifically gene sequences for the COX-1 gene. You would be running your analysis as pairs of Pantroglodytes versus Gorilla-Gorilla, or Pantroglodytes versus Homo neanderthalensis.